Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Diamond relaunches the DA-20C-1, Gamma releases their second quarter 2020 shipment and billing report, and the U.S. Marine Corps is offering up to $210,000 for pilots to re-up. Happy Friday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. Diamond Aircraft is relaunching the DA-20C-1 due to the high demand for single-engine training aircraft. The aircraft is powered by a 125-horsepower Continental IO-240 engine and is now equipped with new state-of-the-art G500 TXI avionics. Originally introduced in 1992, the DA-20 exists in two variants and is certified as a utility category aircraft as well as being popularly used for primary training with the ability to do spin training. With over 1,000 DA-20s already operating worldwide, the strong desire for lower cost new single engine aircraft in the training environment continues. The DA-20 has proven to be the safest and most efficient aircraft for primary training and many fleet operators are raving about its return to production. With nearly 7 million flight hours across the DA-20 fleet in the world. It is a high utilization aircraft with unlimited lifetime on the airframe and unparalleled value retention. The first brand new 2020 DA-20 C1 were delivered last month and Diamond is currently taking new orders for delivery in 2021. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Introducing the new ELT-345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, boasts an industry low price, while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Smart Sky Networks has filed a federal lawsuit against its former radio contractor, Wireless System Solutions, after terminating the WSS contract and asserting that WSS misappropriated Smart Sky's intellectual property. Smart Sky Networks alleges not only did WSS fail to complete what it was contracted to do for them, but also they believe WSS attempted to sell their product as their own under an alter ego company. The company states this activity has caused a delay in bringing their next generation Wi Fi network to the aviation market, which they now don't see happening until at least 2021. Technom's new P2012 Sentinel SMP is readying to tackle the special mission platform market. The aircraft compared to their P2006T twin SMP integrates higher payloads, additional operator and observer stations, and new capabilities, including approval for flight into known icing, while also improving mission efficiency. Technom anticipates future additional requirements with the offering of a quick conversion kit that transforms it from a special mission platform to airline version. In an employee memo released on Tuesday, Delta CEO Ed Bastion shared a mix of news when he announced the company would be able to avoid involuntary furloughs for flight attendants and ground-based frontline employees due to a number of employees taking early retirement packages, voluntary leave, and a 25% work hour reduction for ground-based employees. However, pilots are a different issue, as the company is still flying at just 30% of the passenger volumes they saw last year, and is currently burning through $750 million in cash a month. Nearly 2,000 pilots could be affected, and Delta is currently in discussions with the pilots' union, as they continue to cost-effectively reduce or eliminate this number. 
Sterling Flight Training has taken delivery of two new Piper Archer TXs, expanding their fleet of aircraft and training devices. These new aircraft represent Sterling's commitment to providing students access to the most reliable and latest technologically advanced training tools and aids. This investment comes as student enrollment continues to grow through Sterling's FAA-approved 141 in-house training courses and university partnerships with Purdue University Global and Liberty University's aviation degree programs. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. Offering excellent fuel efficiency and a durable composite design, the Alpha Trainer can be operated from virtually anywhere. Whether you're a first-time aircraft owner, assembling a fleet, or running a flight school, the Light Sport Alpha Trainer from Pipistrel is a dynamic option. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Gamma has released its report of general aviation aircraft shipments and billings through the second quarter of 2020. Piston, turboprop, Business jet and helicopter deliveries declined across all segments during the first six months of 2020, as compared to the same period of 2019. Aircraft shipments through the first six months of 2020, when compared to the same period in 2019, saw piston airplane deliveries decline 13.3%, with 497 units. Turboprop airplane deliveries declined 34.2%, with 152 units. And business jet deliveries declined 26.7%, with 244 units. The value of airplane deliveries through the second quarter of 2020 was $7.9 billion, a decline of approximately 20.2%. Turbine helicopter deliveries for the first six months of 2020, when compared to the same period in 2019, saw a decline of 37.1%, with 188 units, and piston helicopter deliveries saw a decline of 45.2%, with 63 units. It may be a good time to be a Marine, especially if you're a pilot looking to re-up and stick around for the foreseeable future. A Marine admin notice is offering big money to keep their valued flying personnel on the job through the initiation of a Marine Corps Aviation Bonus Program for fiscal year 2021. Eligibility standards and requirements to qualify under the AVB are quite extensive. Rotorcraft pilots flying the MV-22, UH-1, AH-1 and CH-53 must have been officers in the U.S. Marine Corps for less than 14 years and will have had to complete active duty commitments by September 30th of 2021. Transport pilots, specifically KC-130 pilots and co-pilots, have to either be eligible for promotion to lieutenant colonel or junior to the promotion requirements for lieutenant colonel while also completing active duty commitments by September 30th of 2021. Fighter pilots may be eligible as well, as pilots of the AV-8, F-35, and FA-8 will be required in zone or below for lieutenant colonel, though their active duty commitments may end as late as September 30th of 2022. Amounts as high as $210,000 may be offered to fixed-wing pilots willing to re-up for six more years. Osprey pilots as much as $125,000 and a little less than that for helicopter pilots. And that's it for this week, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to like and subscribe before you go. You can also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and to stay up to date on the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you again on Monday.